I live the life I deserve. Bless. Dave Cohen here in Jacksonville as Georgia State gets ready to play Baylor in the NCAA tournament. I'm joined right now by senior center Curtis Washington. And Kurt, real exciting times for Georgia State basketball. Great finish to the Sun Belt tournament down in uh, New Orleans. And a couple days later, here we are in Jacksonville getting ready to play in the NCAA tournament. First time for you. Uh, how you feeling about this uh, exciting times? Man, it's a, it's a blessing, man. It's, it's crazy to be here. Uh, the journey to get here was just a bumpy road, but, you know, we pulled through. You look at this Georgia State basketball team, what you guys were able to do down the stretch, winning some big games. You guys have earned the right to be here. Winning that game against Georgia Southern on Sunday gave you the right to be here. There's a feeling of acceptance, but a feeling like you belong. Definitely. Um, we definitely, that was our goal to, uh, to prove in the conference that we, we belong to, we belonged here to represent the Sun Belt in the tournament. And uh, I, I feel like we did that in our play in the last, you know, couple of weeks through the months and throughout the year. Um, it's definitely going to be, it's not going to be easy, nothing's going to be easy, but um, I feel like we have the pieces, you know, to show the, show the world what we can do. So you're at the viewing party waiting for the seedings to be announced. Georgia State going to take on Baylor, a 14 and a 3. What's the first thing that runs through your mind knowing you're going to take on the Baylor Bears out of the Big 12? We got a rebound. That's the first thing that popped in the head was, I know I'm going to have to be a monster on the glass. and play physical, aggressive, and basically throw the first punch rather than waiting to see what they do. One thing, too, you get out on the floor, you've got to kind of uh, deal with the excitement and the emotion of playing in the NCAA tournament as well as just get into the flow of the game. Definitely. This is going to be my second time to the tournament, and um, this time I'm actually going to be a big piece into what we do. And uh, I think right after that tip, the I, I think the... Uh, the butterflies and all that will be gone because, you know, it's game time and it's the winner go home and, and every game could be your last and you have to play like that. Kurt, appreciate it. Best of luck. Let's get out and get a W. Let's get it. All right, I want to thank Georgia State's Curtis Washington joining us here in Jacksonville. All right, joined right now here in Jacksonville by senior guard Ryan Green and the excitement builds. Here you are in Jacksonville, your first NCAA tournament. You taking this all in and enjoying it all uh, day by day uh, since you found out you were going to be uh, taking on the Baylor Bears down here? Definitely, man. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, especially since I'm a senior. It's my you know, first and only time that I get the experiences. So it's, it's definitely great. We're soaking it in as a team and as an individual. You know, we've, I, we've been through so much as a team together, and to see it all culminating in this moment, I mean, it, it really means a lot for us. Ryan, you're a great story, you're earning a scholarship uh, after walking onto the program. And now you've started X number of games this year, a vital piece of this uh, puzzle for Ron Hunter's ball club. It's got to be exciting for you because, you know, growing up, you're playing basketball, you're dreaming of making an NCAA tournament here. You're probably going to end up starting one. Right, yeah, and, you know, it's just, it's really just a dream come true, honestly, like to say the least. It really is a dream come true. Uh, it's been a journey. You know, for my freshman year, I definitely wouldn't have thought that I'd be starting on a team in the NCAA tournament with the chance to win it. So uh, it's definitely great, man. I'm really just thankful. You know, when you found out you were going to play Baylor out of the Big 12, obviously size and speed and skill all comes into it. I don't know how much preparation you've done until this point. Um, what were your thoughts when you found out you were going to take on Baylor coming in here as a 14 seed and them as a three? Um, really, it's just about trusting the game plan. I've seen them play a couple times this year before, and I believe they're a really beautiful team. As long as we stick to the game plan, I think the coaches have done a great job within the uh, limited amount of time that they have to put a great game plan together to give us a great chance to win. So I really believe in what they do, and uh, as long as we stick to it, then we have a great chance. 
Of course, you talk about taking on a team out of the Big 12, again, size and physicality. For Georgia State, going to have to keep them off the offensive boards, got to really protect the glass and, uh, you know, the guys that do the scoring. Ryan Harrow, if he's able to go, and RJ and Kevin Ware and Kurt and yourself, going to have to make some shots, kind of keep Baylor at, uh, at bay a little bit. Right. And uh, really, rebounding has been the main focus of our for the whole year. So emphasizing that this game isn't really anything new because we know we have to keep teams off the glass to win. So um, really, it's more of just a knowing when to score and when to make certain plays. It's more about execution in these type of games. And that's what we know that we have to do. All right, Ryan, appreciate it. Let's go out and make some shots and uh, keep keep, uh, keep alive here in Jacksonville. Hopefully get to the next round. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, I want to thank Georgia State's Ryan Green joining us here in Jacksonville.